In this brand new video, you will now discover how to define, raise, catch and handle exceptions in Python with the help of a few examples. So be sure to stick around and watch till the end if you want to handle errors in your program without even interrupting its execution flow. Python errors. You can make certain mistakes while writing a program that lead to errors when you try to run it. During its execution, Python program terminates as soon as it encounters an error that is not handled. These errors can be classified into two classes, syntax errors and logical errors, also known as exceptions. Errors caused by not following the proper structure of the language are called syntax error or parsing error. Syntax errors are the most basic type of error. They arise when the Python parser is unable to understand a line of code. Most syntax errors are typos, incorrect indentation, or incorrect arguments. If you get this error, try looking at your code for any of these, misspelling, missing, or misusing keyword. An arrow indicates where the parser ran into the syntax error. Errors that occur at runtime, after passing the syntax test, are called exceptions, or logical errors. These are the most difficult type of error to find, because they will give unpredictable results, and may even crash your program. A lot of different things can happen, if it encounters a logical error. Whenever these types of runtime errors occur, Python will create an exception object. Exceptions arise when the Python parser knows what to do with this piece of code, but is unable to perform this action. For instance, trying to access the internet without an internet connection. Illegal operations can raise exceptions, too. Actually, there are plenty of built-in exceptions that are raised in Python. When the following errors occur, value error, type error, zero division error, import error, and so many more. Consequently, if not handled properly, Python prints the traceback of that error. And the last line of this message indicates what type of exception error your program ran into, along with some details about what triggered this error. Fortunately, you can catch and handle all these kind of exceptions, then adapt your program so it does not crash anymore. You can also define your own exceptions in Python, when required. After seeing the differences between syntax errors and exceptions, let's move forward and see multiple ways to raise, catch, and handle these exceptions in Python. If you like this video, please, do not forget to give a thumb up, and subscribe our channel. Digital Academy, learn free. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like, comment, and share.